In the Middle Ages, a lot of people believed that a cursed comet was to blame for the Black Death. An infinite playground for that occasional blazing visitor, the comet. A historical celestial event called the Comet of the Black Death, or Comet Negra, is sometimes linked to the beginning of the Black Death in Europe around the middle of the 14th century. The bubonic plague, sometimes known as the Black Death, claimed the lives of an estimated one-third of the people in Europe. One of the deadliest pandemics in human history is said to have coincided with the comet's appearance, which was noted in a number of chronicles. In the 14th century, Europe, Asia, and Africa were all devastated by the Black Death. Rats contained disease-causing fleas that disseminated Yersinia pestis. Now they could be carrying the Black Death. When the pandemic arrived in Europe in 1347, it quickly swept throughout the continent, leading to previously unheard of rates of death. Between 30 and 60 percent of Europeans are thought to have died during the Black Plague. But one of the earliest words for comet was disaster, which in Latin means evil star. The Comet Negra made its sky debut during this period of extreme pain and uncertainty. According to historical accounts, the comet was visible for several months and could be seen with the unaided eye. The public was extremely afraid and concerned about the comet's appearance because comets were frequently seen as signs of imminent death, illness, and disaster. Medieval accounts of Comet Negra describe it as having a dark core and an incredibly dazzling tail, like a black dragon. It is reported to have materialized out of nowhere, looming large and threatening over the nighttime landscape. European chroniclers, such as Giovanni Villani and Matthew Parisiensis, gave reports of Comet Negra's huge tail, which they claimed extended across a large portion of the sky. These explanations align with current observations of astronomy, which show that comets usually acquire tails as a result of solar radiation vaporizing and blowing away their volatile components, such as water ice, from their nucleus. History has forgotten its precise astronomical properties, such as size, composition, and orbit. But its appearance had a significant and enduring psychological impact on the people of the era. Its emergence coincided with reports on October 25th of plague ships landing in Sicily's Messina Harbor. The bacteria Yersinia pestis is what causes the bubonic plague, also known as the Black Death. Fleas that have bitten sick rats typically affect humans. The Black Death. 1334. Abraham Lincoln's death. 1865. It is thought that the 1347 outbreak started in Asia and made its way to the Crimea via the Silk Road. It then traveled to the ports of the Mediterranean, where fleas on rats on commerce ships transported it, rapidly spreading throughout Europe. Genoese traders started the outbreak in Crimea in the summer or fall of 1346 by transporting infected fleas carrying Yersinia pestis bacteria on board ships. In the months that followed their first contact at Messina Harbor on October 25th, which was also the day Comet Negra appeared, these ships swiftly made their way towards continental mainland Europe, unintentionally spreading disease among port towns like Messina, Venice, Marseille, London, Bordeaux, and Lisbon. During the Black Death, the Phoenicians made all the ships anchor in the harbor for 40 days before they would allow the crews into the city. A lengthy voyage over the Black Sea resulted in the docking of 12 Genoese commerce ships in the Sicilian port of Messina. The majority of the sailors were already dead, and the remaining ones had unusual black boils and fever, which were obvious signs of the plague. Within a week of the start of symptoms, the plague would often cause vomiting, fevers, chills, swollen lymph nodes, buboes, and in many cases death. The epidemic was merciless destroying both urban and rural populations and causing profound disruptions in the fields of social, economic, and religious life. A number of circumstances combined to cause the epidemic of 1347 to gradually fade over several years rather than having a single conclusive termination. The wave that had swept through Europe by the early 1350s started to taper off, in part because there were fewer potential hosts left, meaning that fewer people could catch and transmit the disease. Moreover, survivors might have grown somewhat immune. The eventual improvement in public health protocols, as communities began to realize the need of isolating afflicted individuals and disposing of the deceased in a way that minimized exposure, was another contributing element. Living conditions became less congested as a result of the population fall, which might have contributed to a decrease in the rate of transmission. Even while the Black Death never came to an end definitively, all of these elements worked together to lower the number of new cases until the pandemic's effects became less pronounced. 
But for generations to come, the epidemic would resurface in different waves, warning people of its ongoing menace. Comets have always been seen with a mixture of wonder and trepidation. Numerous societies thought that these celestial bodies were warning signs of impending battles, famines, and epidemics. The Comet Negra's apparition during the Black Death merely contributed to the psychological anguish that individuals experienced at the time of the pandemic by confirming these superstitious beliefs. Halley's Comet, which has been visible to humans for millennia, is perhaps the most well-known comet. Its emergence in 1066 is most famously documented in the Norman conquest of England, shown in the Bayeux Tapestry. It was interpreted as a sign that King Harold II would lose the Battle of Hastings. People all over the world saw the Great Comet of 1106 after that, and many were terrified of its long tail. It was said to portend starvation, conflict, and the plague across Europe. From a scientific standpoint, however, there is no clear connection between comet appearances and the spread of diseases such as the Black Death. Comets are rocky, ice, and dust-based astronomical bodies that orbit the sun. They are unable to spread illnesses or stop pandemics from spreading. Rats and fleas spread a bacteriological illness that led to the Black Death. This mechanism is now well known, but it was unknown to people in the 14th century, due to the predominance of superstitious beliefs in the state of science at the time. Comet Negra's appearance in the Black Death pandemic coincided. Even though modern science has disproved the notion that comets carry disease, Comet Negra had a significant psychological impact on medieval thought. The general fear and hopelessness that accompanied the Black Death probably made the social unrest worse. Furthermore, the comet's timing might have contributed to the spread of apocalyptic predictions that were common in Europe in the 14th century, solidifying the idea that celestial powers shaped earthly events. At the time, some academics contended that Comet Negra's abrupt appearance just before the Black Death might not have been a coincidence but rather the result of a supernatural design intended to both warn and punish humanity for the impending disaster. The Comet Negra's arrival during the Black Death is still an important historical event, even though there is no clear correlation. It reminds us of the ways in which astronomical events have influenced human history and shaped our perceptions and ideas. The comet's appearance in the sky during a time of extreme suffering and loss probably increased people's sense of terror and helplessness during the epidemic. The deadly Black Death pandemic began in 1347, the same year that the Comet of the Black Death, also known as Comet Negra, first emerged in the sky. Although comets are frequently thought of as signs of impending disaster, there is no solid scientific proof linking the comet's appearance to the disease's spread. But the Comet Negra's existence during this troubling period in human history serves as a sobering reminder of the intricate relationship that exists between astronomical phenomena, human beliefs, and the path of history.